Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Lead Code question 2577 that says minimum time to visit a cell in a grid. So here you are given N cross N grid and each uh, grid is uh, represent the minimum time required to represent that cell. So each cell of a grid uh, represents some time and that is the minimum amount of time that you require if you want to visit that cell. Okay, and initially you are at top left cell and you need to go to this bottom right cell and you can travel in this four direction up, down, left and right. And at the end, you need to return the minimum time required by which you can visit the bottom right cell of the matrix. And if it is not possible, then return minus one. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, if you take a look at this first example. Uh, so here, initially, you are at this position uh, where uh, this first cell, first top left, top left cell, this first cell. And yeah, you need to move to this destination cell, right? So from this, as you can see, you can move to here. In one time, uh, you can move here, and this cell has value one. So one is less than equal to the current time. See, the current time initially is zero. Uh, so current time. Uh, so let me take this as time. Time is zero. Now time is what? Time is one. So in one second, you can move to here. Okay, because its value is less than equal to one. The current time. Now from here, you can move either to here and here. You have two option, right? And the time is what? Time is now two. So in two, you can't go here. You can only go to here. Correct. Now from here, the next for the next move, time is what? Time is three. So you can go to here as here as well. Both way you can go. And if you go to here and here, let's say uh, you traverse this. For the next, time is what? Four. So for the four, you can go here. No, but you can go here, right? And from this two, you can uh, go towards the upward part. Okay. For the next, time is five. Time is five, you can visit this cell, correct? And for this, from this three, you can go to this two correct there is no other cell left for the next time is six uh, from this five you can again visit this one right you can again visit this four okay you can do whatever let's say you visited this one and from this two you visited this five because you can visit now the next this time is what time is seven so from this five you can visit this six right and you got your answer you got uh, towards the destination you reach the destination and in it what time you reach in seven seconds so yeah, we return seven as our answer. So I hope you guys understood the approach here. Sorry, not the approach, but the question that uh, this test case that how we are solving this question here. Okay. So one thing to note here is that the question in the question it the nothing is said regarding or uh, you can visit unvisited cell. Means we here we can visit same cell again. Okay. Because there is nothing like that, that uh, we can visit a cell only once. No such condition is given in the equation. So we can revisit a cell or visit a same cell again. I hope you guys understood this observation. This is very key observation to do here. Okay, and if you uh, take a look at this example. So uh, here in time uh, equal to 1. So initial time is 0. Now from here you, you need to move any of the cell either to right or bottom. Okay, in 1 second. Now your time is 1 second. Okay, can you move here? No. Can you move those this way? No. So we'll simply write as minus one. And this would be our base condition that if the rightmost cell or the bottom cell is greater than one, if it is greater than one, then we simply write a minus one. So if you guys can see here that if this is the rightmost cell, right? And this is the bottom cell. And if both are greater than one, then we simply write a minus one. So this is our base condition. So this example two is helpful to form our base condition. Correct? Okay, now let's move on uh, to forming the intuition. Okay, so here the first point, uh, as I told you earlier, that we can revisit the cell. Cells can be revisited. Okay, and second thing to note here is we need to reach destination in minimum time. Reach destination in minimum time. Okay. Uh, see, uh, currently, if I ask you a question that you have some starting cell and you need to go to the destination cell, destination cell DT, then what are the ways? See, one way is either to do depth first search traversal or I, you can do breadth first search traversal. So these are the traversal techniques you need to know if you need to move from one cell to the destination cell, correct? So you must have some basic understanding of both this breadth first search and depth first search. Now, if someone asks you to find shortest path, shortest path from source to destination then what would which technique you will use then you will only use breadth first search right this will give you the shortest path 
टू टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम सोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन प्रेफर सर्च नाउ इफ्स इफ्स एज समन एट सम कंडीशन दैट देर आर लेट से वेटेड एजिज और यू कैन से मिनिमम टाइम एज इन दिस क्वेश्चन मिनिमम टाइम देन वॉट वी विल डू वी विल डू पी एफ एस विथ प्रायोरिटी क्यू ओके एंड दिस वॉट दिस फॉर्म्स वॉट दिस फॉर्म्स डिक्सट्रास डिक्सट्रास एल्गोरिजम सो टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू हैव बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च एंड बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डिक्सट्रास एल्गोरिजम ओके सो इफ यू हैव दिस देन ओनली वी कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एल्स यू नीड टू डिवाइस बोथ द टॉपिक्स ओके सो डिस्ट्रस एल्गोरिदम इज सिंपली द ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च बट यूजिंग प्रायोरिटी क्यू से ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च यूज सिंपल क्यू सिंपल क्यू बट इफ यू यूज प्रायोरिटी क्यू इन दैट देन दैट बिकम्स डिस्ट्रस एल्गोरिदम एंड वॉस डिस्ट्रस एल्गोरिदम विल डू इफ यू हैव समथिंग लाइक वेटेड एचिज और सम वेटेड टाइम समथिंग लाइक दैट सम कंडीशन वेर वी नीड टू फाइंड मिनिमम आंसर और ऑप्टिमल आंसर then uh, we will use what we will use dijkstra's algorithm dijkstra's algorithm in that case we will use okay things are clear till now that uh, initially we uh, we feel need to travel from source to destination then we have two approaches if you need to find shortest path then we have breadth first search and again if you win, if you need to travel with a minimum time or with a minimum cost like weighted edges cost then we use dijkstra's algorithm that is simple breadth first search with a priority queue okay things are clear till now now one thing to note here is you can visit grid of i comma j if this value is less than equal to what current time and one another key observation what we did is we can uh, cells can be revisited yeah cells can be revisited so if you have let's say grid of 0 uh, 0 uh and uh, let's uh, uh, let me take it not 0 let me take it as 1 1 and you from this you can you need you can visit from 1 2 okay towards the right you can visit to 2 1 towards the bottom right you can also visit towards the left that is 0 1 and either you can visit uh you grid of 1 0 so you from here you can visit to all four direction up right bottom and left correct now let's say if you want to visit towards the right and let's say it's a time t and here time is t plus 5 see initially you can means here this will take t plus 1 time initially there was a current time t to visit this cell so it will take t plus 1 time but here its value is t plus 5 so can you visit this cell no at uh, initially you can't visit so what you can do is uh what travel from here to here in t plus 1 then again travel to back in t plus 2 again travels to here t plus 3 back t plus 4 and here again t plus 5 So now, can you visit this cell? Yes, we can visit this cell. So what I simply did this: if you have, let's say, grid of i and j, and if you uh, want to travel to grid of i and j plus one, uh, let's say here it is t and it is t plus five, then what you will do? You will travel back and forth, back and forth. So once you travel to fourth, that is, uh, that would be in t plus one time, back again t plus two time, right? T plus one again plus one, then here t plus three again, back t plus four. and when you again travel with either t plus 5 time you we can visit this cell correct we can visit this cell hope things are clear till now so how many iteration we do this is the first this is the second and the third time we can visit this cell so our current time when we visit this cell would be t plus 5 so here to when we visit this cell our current time would be t plus 5 okay got it now let's say uh if uh, if i have something like this grid of i and j and you need to need to visit grid of i and j plus 1 see guys be with me uh, i will explain you that what i am doing here so let's say the value of uh, after time here is t and here is t plus 6 okay just be with me guys and concentrate on what i am doing here so let's say you visit from here to here in t plus 1 time you can say we can currently visit this cell so you again go back in t plus 2 at, at t plus 2 time here again t plus 3 time again go back t plus 4 time now again go from here to here in t plus 5 time go go back in t plus 6 time okay and you visited this cell in t plus 7 time so this cell is visited in what what time this cell grid of i and j plus 1 is visited at time t plus 7 though its value is t plus 6 but we can't visit 
we can't visit this so we visited this in a time t plus 7 got it okay so yeah so what thing to note here is if so let's say the difference between here is what here is 6 and 6 is what e1 6 is e1 so if you have e1 difference then we will visit in the time of this uh, the time of visiting cell plus 1 the time that is the value of grid of i and j plus 1 the its time will be stored in this value grid of i and j plus 1 and we will visit in in extra one second as you can see we can't visit in this uh, this time when the difference between the previous cell and this next cell that we want to visit is even so if the difference is even we will take one extra second and as you guys can see here that if a difference is 5 the difference is 5 then that is odd then we will directly visit in the time of what time of this uh, visiting cell so we will visit this in the time that is represented here as well we won't take extra second but if a difference is even we will take extra second simple as it is so yeah uh, this is what this is one thing that we will take care when we are visiting the cell that is if the previous time uh, and the present time uh, so let's say present time this difference is even or odd so we will keep do keep these things in mind correct so yeah the uh, intuition is now over so first thing that we note here is we will do dextra's algorithm by using breadth search plus priority queue and second thing to note here is to visit a cell uh, if a cell uh, as a difference of the time from the previous cell is or then we can directly visit in the time else we, if it is even as we saw here then we need to add one extra second we need to add extra second to visit this so using this both uh, observation that we did we will now move on to the coding part where uh, i will explain you the code for this complete solution so here it is the code so initially i took this uh, direction so in the four direction we can travel that is uh, left right up and down and yeah uh, i i already discussed the base condition with you okay so if this is greater than one or this is greater than one we cannot travel this and then i took the visited array and the priority given these two are part of dextra's algorithm and i push 0 comma 0 comma 0 so this first zero represent a time uh, as it is obvious that why we are using priority queue to get the minimum time so that's why we need to sort all the uh, all the cells on the basis of time that we have visited so yeah the first cell will represent time and the second uh, these numbers of this vector will represent the x and y indices now this is the prior fundamental uh, priority queue here this is a uh, priority queue and we push that and then this is the fundamental breadth first search that we do nothing complex we took the topmost element from here uh, which took the time as well as the x and y indices and we check that if x and y is a destination cell then we simply return number time see this would be the best possible time since we are using priority queue the topmost element so this this is a mini heap so the topmost element uh, would be minimum time okay and if the x and y indices are our destination then we would return this minimum time if we have already visited this cell x and y then we would continue correct as we would mark this as true uh, mark the visited cell as true now what we would do we would traverse in the four direction that is uh, and we took next x and next y and, and yeah this is what this is just uh, to check that are we in the boundary or not inside the boundary or not that is uh, if we are out of bounds then we will simply continue we won't we can't travel right we can't go beyond this or uh, here so this is just to check uh, if we are in boundary or not the second thing here that i took is is weight even or we can see if the difference see this t is what t is the time t for of a previous this t is what previous time and this is what the next time so if the next time minus previous time modulus to equals to zero that means the time difference is even then what we will do we will add one as you can see this bool value would be one would be true and we are adding one here adding extra seconds right and if this is false then this this would be what zero if this is false then here we won't add one and we would add zero correct so yeah while pushing the next time and t that is next time we do this simple thing we take the maximum of uh, t plus one and this okay so yeah, I hope you guys understood the coding part here. It is simple that what we have discussed is that a simple thing that uh, we are doing here, right? Uh, and yeah, we push this in the queue and again, this uh, whole loop will follow. And in the end, if we don't get our answer, that means we are, it is not possible to reach this destination and we have visited all the cell, right? We have visited all the cell. Then in that case, we will simply return minus one. Yeah, simple as it is. 
Okay. So I hope you guys understood the approach and the solution for this part. There were some prerequisites for this question. That is, you must know the breadth-first search plus Dijkstra's algorithm here. If you have known that, then this would be a simple question. Only to th the thing to note here is this thing. Okay. Yeah. And now talking about the time and space complexity. So here, uh, since we are using priority, our time complexity would be uh, m n log of m n. This would be our time complexity. So what is mn? mn m into n are the total number of cells, right? So this would be our time complexity since we are using priority queue and the space complexity would be big of m into n. These are the total number of cells that we will store in this uh, priority queue. So that's why our space complexity would be big of m into n. So yeah, that's for the complexity part and yeah, that's all for this question. Uh, and if you have still any doubts related to this question, then let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.